good morning everybody morning here in Australia um, quarter to nine it's a little bit further along in the morning but Noah's just got up have you not mm. but let's go take a look outside air conditioner is already a blowing because it's already really hot oh there's the tree finally yep it's up it's decorated lights just haven't got anything sitting on the top i can't find my star at the moment i haven't um decorated the rest of the house as yet I have been rather busy doing other things but there you go I just decided to go with silver a little bit of gold this year but I like my multicolored lights and these lights are really old um, as well so you know I keep on using them and there's half of them don't work but a lot still work so I just keep on using them outside today is not too bad um, the sky is blue little bit cloudy and the clouds are a little bit grey as you can see and today I'm going to get that trampoline the poles back on the netting back up uh, that's mainly for Chase he's wanting to play out here and be on the trampoline so I'm going to get that safe and clean out this area today lots of things to do hello hello to you what are you doing hey what are you doing hello I can't reach you I can't reach you I'm not that tall am I uh, I'll have a nap up here Hey, green eyes, got green eyes, don't you? <laughs> so, what have I been up to? Well, I have actually, well, I haven't removed the enclosures yet, but they'll be certainly being moved today. I haven't done the fish tank. Need to get that done desperately. But I did get Tessa's enclosure done, which as you'll know, that was Sears enclosure. Well, now it is Tessa's. And, yep, she's up there in a hammock. I ended up having to put some extra branches up here for her. She was sort of, well, I guess in a way you could look at it as she was hiding down in a hide, which is pretty normal when, you know, I tend to put them in their enclosure for the first time and things are a little bit different. Though I did bring everything over from an old enclosure into this new enclosure. And I'm sorry for all the reflections, but it's that time of the day, of course. I am going to lower this, hot, this hammock for her. She has a big heat panel up there um, so I've had to maneuver a little bit to get that to fit that way because if I'd spun it around the other way it would have just covered too much of this enclosure so uh, yeah I just tweaked it a little bit I managed to get you'll see one vent possibly here in and when you have no tools to cut out a hole Oh my goodness, 
Um, well, I don't know if you'll see, but you leaning over into that enclosure, yeah, I kind of did myself some damage trying to punch holes and then jigsaw and but anyway, I've got one in and there's plenty of airflow here. There are other little holes, you know, around that are letting air through. I have to just keep my eye on the humidity. And if so, of course I can punch some more holes here, littler holes just to get some more airflow. And then I will get another vent in there for her. But this has always held some really good humidity anyway. But that's Tessa's new enclosure. And it's so much better for her. I was just feeling absolutely terrible that she was in that smaller enclosure and I knew she needed that space, absolutely. So I was so determined the other day I started at midday and I finished at midnight and yet I know long time but when you don't have the tools well what can you do you know you work with what you've got and you get it done just out of pure determination little miss Maya has moved on over here I did have her there but I've moved Tessa over so she's not under of course the air conditioning so she's out of that blowing of cool air onto her and of course Maya is across here she's hiding there I can excuse me while I turn around and open the door for my dog Jed who's crying at the door saying please let me in so there you go, he's in. Jesse, well, ah, uh, he's doing good. Nothing changes for Jesse, his enclosure's the same. He's just been, you know, he's over here now. And he's doing good, doing really good actually. I'll go in and on him. Just been chilling. He had a day out the other day with Lily pretty much all day. And where are we at? Well, Molly. <laughs> and Noah has just woken up. The dogs don't leave the bed until Noah leaves the bed. And Maya, of course, she is still where she always is. And she'll be there for a little while. I could possibly put her into the enclosure that Tessa is in. Was in. Let's just say was in. Um, which would suit. And Maya, she's down there. I hope you can see her. Yep, and there she is. Just snoozing. And panning around, of course. Ruby's in her spot, as oh always. God. As you can see. Lily so wants out. Last night. Last night she wanted out, but we were going to bed because mm. Nan was exhausted. So I knew today would be the day where Lily would be out pretty much all day. Jack, what are you doing, dude? And do you know, he's made a little mess. He did the one last night. I cleaned it up. And he's decided, I'll make another little mess so you can clean it up again today, Mum. 
so I will be doing that of course but he's just been chilling and um, relaxing I think it's that time of the year um, at the moment for all of us because there's Tessa's old enclosure that has to be brought down I haven't got her light out of there yet and yeah I will do that but just for now that's it that's just a bit of an update on where we're at how life is what's happening and I will get a video of Lily today with her out but for now I don't want to make this video too long but well actually I'm not going to end it here because I do want you to see um, yeah, ball pit good fun in there for Chase I do want you to see Sia because I won't forget her just because she's down in my bedroom she's not forgotten at all but there she is out I know it's a bit dark out on her enclosure oh out on her enclosure out on her branch See, it's still a bit early for me and I've only had one cup of tea today so far but she had a mouth done last night she had an injection last night but she seems to be doing well At the end of these injections I'll start offering her food because I know she won't eat in between so but there she is chilled chilled girl aren't you so guys like I said just a bit of an update for you hope you're all doing well and getting yourselves organized for Christmas um, I've yet to get down to the shops and get any shopping done that is going to be next weekend well it's not about I hope it'll be next weekend it has to be next weekend because otherwise I'm not going to get it done at all excuse me I have a a bit of a runny nose this morning so guys just thought I'd get a little bit of a video of Lily venturing out um, it's just a matter of open the door out she comes and there she is well there she was I just didn't have the camera in the right right position she's going to go like Molly is there so how do I get up there but that's it for my day Lily will be out and about doing what she wants to do of course and hopefully of course I'll get Jack out because I'll clean up the bottom of his enclosure and he can have a little bit of a cruise around so she'll come back up down So, just Noah's big buff head there for a second. Hey Lil, what are you going to do today? What are you going to be doing today? Hey, you're just going to cruise, hang out. Yeah, she says, I want to go up top. That's get Jack out. Yeah, I'll get Jack out. Same today. time she's out. Yeah, I will. Let them snooze up there together. Yeah, they probably will. Jack will probably bring arrows in the tickles. No, we're well past breeding season, so yeah. Not so intent on finding one another now, although they do like to still hang out with each other, so. But there you go, just Lil coming out. that's not what the video is at all the video is just to catch up 
how things are, what I've got done, what I've still yet to do. You're right. I'll give her a hand. Hey, Mum, give you a hand. So you get more, more of you up. So, yep, just Lily coming your family, out. Your friends, your snakes, and all your animals. Ciao.